the long-awaited next episode of the ranking of Amiga platformers. Uh, you can tell from that jive and beat that this evening we are going to be taking a look at PP Hammer and his pneumatic weapon. Surely one of the more oddly named games in the pantheon of Amiga platformers. A rivaling Bits production. So, um, yeah. Two guys named Matthias in this game so far. Okay. And we should click inside our window to give us control. All right, let's kick this thing off. Welcome, stranger. Give me your name. Hmm. Interesting that my... Uh, I think there's something going on with the chat. Let's, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, it was stream. It was, uh. Yeah, I think we're okay now. Okay. I have no password. We're starting from the beginning here. Okay. First room adventure. Okay. So, uh, I'm trying to activate. The hammer. It doesn't look like I'm able to do that. Hey, Barkbit! How's it going, man? Maybe I get the hammer later on. What's the good word from Sweden, Barkbit? You found a new place to live yet? The new Barkbit pad? Hmm. I don't know how to get up there. Push. Oh. Hmm. How does one uh, activate the hammer? See, I, I always go into these games. A platformer, you should not need to read the instructions. Oh, there we go. So it's button and direction. That's how you activate the hammer. So button first, and then direction. Oh. Hey man, no need to rush into anything. Hey Delamort78, no there's not gonna be a 10 hour stream tonight. Although we will go for a little bit. We're gonna play some PP Hammer. Then we're gonna switch on over to the Atari 8-bit. It's been far too long since I've gotten to play some Atari 1200XL. That's a old L3 CDI. It's obviously a Philips CDI reference. So I'm wondering if the, all of the blocks you can hammer are... Uh, oh, look at that. He lights up. Check this out. His idle animation is him smoking a cigarette. Could not get away with that today. Oh, no. Did I not change? You know, maybe I didn't save it. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, back to the back to the smoking. I'm also not quite happy with having that little gap up there. There we go. That's more like it. Back with PP Hammer, you know. You just kind of do this. Give us some more screen real estate. Hmm. 
I wasn't really sure what to expect with PP Hammer. Um. Hmm. I've already come down here. I guess there's no going back. Oh, is, do you think that's a door right there? Yeah, I don't see a keyhole. Oh, right here. There we go. Thank you, uh... Thank you, Barkbit. I would have never guessed that was a keyhole. I thought that was like a chain on the wall or something. So yeah, that's me being an idiot. Oh yeah. I like that little groove he does there. That's that Amiga pan flute. There are certain sounds that just immediately make you think of the Amiga. And that 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 synth pan flute is one of them, for sure. Look at that, I got three bombs. Wonder if this is where I should use one of them. Let's try it. Huh. That was apparently a waste of a bomb. Or oh no, this is uh this allows me to jump higher. I see. So sort of like uh super jump drinks. Hey Picard, how's it going, man? Oh, my first enemy. Come come at me, Audrilia. That's right, rat. Run away. It's gonna be difficult to drill that bat. Yep, this is the first game of PP Slider. Okay, just dying. I died on less of energy. What a shame. Okay, at least it starts you back not too far away. I like the fact that it gives... Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Dig to find the yellow key. I like the little hint window too. Some treasure. There's the key. That's a five. So I did take a look at my new Amiga 1000 keyboard today. And it is quite dirty. It is so dirty that some of the keys physically stick when you press them down. So, I've ordered a key pooler on Amazon. And, uh, looking forward to that coming in soon. <coughs> uh, it's coming from China, so it won't be soon soon. Do I want to jump down where the waterfall is? Probably not. Okay, it wouldn't have killed me. What is that thing? See that? That's crazy looking. Sounds like a Bon Jovi song. Oh, it's just something in the background. Okay, so how are you doing tonight, Della Mort? Anything awesome happening in your world? I don't like that you, you have to be on top of something to dig it. That's a heart. I'll take that. Maybe it's just a teleport? I don't know. Alright. PP Hammer. He's done. Yeah. Before Bugub.
So I believe that this was a French developed game, I want to say. Or maybe... No, maybe it was German? Because I remember it was like software, yeah, it was German, because it was a software house and house spot spelled H-A-U-S. Which led me to believe that it might be German. Oh, how do I get out of here? Let's keep digging. I guess you gotta dig. Wait for this thing to come back. Come on. Ugh. Oh, that's great. Oh, got me. I used to be a big speaker guy. Um, I guess I still am, but, uh, I just, once, once you've got speakers, like a good set of speakers, you really don't need to ever buy, like, another set. I've got a pair of, uh, 70s Sansui speakers that weigh about 600 pounds a piece, and they are fantastic. Um. Okay, let's do this quick so we can get out of here. Go. Hey, thanks for hosting, Picard. Appreciate it. Oh, I did it again. I can't get out of it this time. The, the tricky thing is to do all this before your time runs out. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how that, this is, this, you know guys, this is really not a platformer. This is more of a puzzle game. You gotta do all three here. And then one, two, and then one. Ah! Man, it's gotta be faster. Come on. messed up already. Yeah, you're right, Curtis. It's a puzzle game with platform elements. That's exactly right. Hey, I'm glad that I, uh, I could have used some of those special potions that I had before I died. Hey, Curtis, that's fantastic. Uh, about your, uh, giveaway, the, the Coco International giveaway. I love that. We'll plug the heck out of that on the show. All right, maybe I need to approach this from the other angle. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong here. So we'll come this way. Nope, did it wrong again. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, come on. One more. <sighs> this is frustrating. It wouldn't be as frustrating if you didn't have to wait for the blocks to come back. Nope. And it's like if you screw up, there's nothing you can do. You've just got to... Hang out and wait for the blocks. Go. All right. I've got no key. All right. Oh, no. Huh? Yeah, it is very much like Load Runner. You're right. Which is a game that I have very little patience with. <laughs> I've, I've, I've tried Load Runner several times on various platforms and have never been real happy with my performance. Yeah, I'm hopeful that uh, that somebody from our community will win it. At least there's no fall damage in this game. Okay. Bonus round.
Oh. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right, little guy. You did fine. Um. Oh. I see. oh. Yeah, how are you supposed to do this, huh? Is there another drill command I'm not aware of? Do I just have to take the fire? All right, I'll take the fire. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not gonna make it. No. Now what would be great is if they automatically put, okay. At least they don't make you put in the passcode. This is an all right game. I'm liking it. The music is not fantastic. Um, but the game itself is pretty solid. It's a unique concept. It really challenges you to be quick and accurate with the drill. Plus, I like the fact that your guy smokes. He's sort of a rebel. Ugh. I'm not going to be able to do it. No. I guess I can get ahead of the game here. Kind of, except I already screwed up. No! All right. You can't really get ahead of the game because of the way that they draw back. Okay. Did it. Run away. Key. Okay, you cannot destroy the uh, bad guys with the drill. But there's a secret up there. I just don't know how to get up there. Maybe I need a special potion. Hey, pigs! Picks, were you the one that suggested PP Hammer? I can't remember. Okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, uh... I thought it was going to be a platformer, but it's really not. This is not going to go in the ranking of Amiga platformers. Then you just... Oh. oh, come on. This is more of a puzzle platformer. It's like a, it's like Curtis was saying, it's sort of like Load Runner and a platformer mixed together. Okay, so guys, we gotta figure this out here. Ah, Graham. I think I'm gonna die. Anyway. Yeah. The old less of energy got me again. They give you a goodly amount of lives. Six lives per continue, plus you can continue from where you left off.
Yeah, I mean, it is a platformer. It's just not a platformer that's going to go in the ranking of Amiga platformers because it's not the same as like a mascot type platformer. So the deal is you've got very limited places where you can drill. You can drill here and then there we go. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. Hey, Pig Gravity. Yeah, it is a cool game. I'm enjoying it a lot. Ox Revenge. Oh, I just revenged myself in the wrong way. Yeah, it is. This guy knows how to get down and get funky. He was on Soul Train. Climb to hear the Rolling Stones. Huh. Okay. I love the hint system too. More games need the hint system. Fortunately, I don't know what that means, but maybe I'm gonna get a... It's possible that was not the correct time to use the oil. I know a lot of people like Rick Dangerous. Um, this is kind of reminds me of that, except without all the imminent death. And I think I like it more because of that. the whole it smells like fruits thing is. That's a strange. Come on, get up there. Yeah, it definitely does. It definitely looks better than an old DOS game. But it has that same kind of mechanic. The, the platforming mechanics are very DOS like. I'd agree with that 100% picks. Oh, maybe I. I wonder if I get that. Um, can I climb? I can't climb back up there. I was going to try and see if I could. Uh, jump over that wall and get, collect that extra treasure. Ooh, tricky. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a good time. Um, I don't know, I'm sure that, can you, can somebody check and see, did this get a release on anything other than the Amiga? When I was pulling up the, um, the box art and stuff, I don't remember seeing it listed for any other platform. Maybe this was an Amiga only release. C64 also, okay. Thank, thanks, Pig, gra pig Gravity. Pie, is it a Pig Gravity? Like a pig rave? Or is it pie gravity? Like nerdy gravity? Because it's got pie in it. Both ways. That's what I like. Okay. You know, I purchased just today a C64 um, um, SD card from our boy Sanxion, Tim. 
and the future was 8-bit. So I will be playing some C64 awesomeness here before too, too long. Oh, man, it's totally not cool when that happens. <laughs> A pie by any other name. Okay. I'm guessing that I have to move through there in some way. Welcome, welcome. Pie. Welcome to the Cool Kids Club. Headed by Pixels, the coolest kid. Look at this. Extra treasure in this zone I did not go to before. I want another one of those bonus Lego worlds. Those were really fun. Where do you hail from, Pi? <laughs> he does not like water. Ah! Poland! Fantastic! You know, it's one of my dreams to uh, see Poland. And I mean that truthfully. Uh, I would love to go to Krakow and see um, the... Uh, all of the uh, all of the architecture there, and I would love to see uh, the uh, the old stomping grounds of uh, John Paul II. And uh, I'm I'm a big my my grandfather my my whole father's or mother's side of the family is from Poland. Uh, they are the Brzezinski's, obviously Polish name. I don't know why I can't get that. I think you might be right, Pix. I don't know why I can't pick that up. <laughs> that scream sound, it sounds like he just, he really hates to bathe, our, uh, our driller. He's <laughs> like, Oh, it's because my inventory was full, okay. I really like the inventory system in this game. Um. It's just, you know, straightforward to the point. This game is really impressing me. Come on. There we go. Poland is like the hive of activity for um, retro computing, too. You know, my, my first love, the Atari 8-bits, uh, the Polish action in that scene is just off the chain. And of course, the Amiga, the, you know, the Poland's famous for its Amiga demo parties and stuff. Oh boy. Hey, Huck, how's it going, man? Good morning to you. Oh, oh, man. Things getting hot and heavy there in that corridor. Luckily, they're pretty good with the, um, the checkpoints. I wish that you did have an offensive weapon, although I guess maybe F1? That, no, that's the jumping power, I think, right? No. I'm not sure what F1 gives you. Oh. Man, Gary, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed on the, um, on the Thanks for Giving Marathon, how much I enjoyed the Dick Smith Wizard. It was so great. It was so great. Okay, now that I'm back here at the beginning of the stage, I can use my jump potion, which I believe is F4. Oh, why can I... Even with extra jumpiness, I can't get there. Oh! Maybe it's one of those deals, huh? Okay, I can play that game. I'm out of time. It's evil, but I can't stop playing it. Especially when it's this generous. Now, of course, it's not that generous with the inventory system. So I can't make that, I can't make that, that block fall until I get the jumpy potion. Um, but I, I'm super excited to, uh, to play some more System 80 and Wizard games. One day, uh, one day, I hope to be in the presence of a Dick Smith wizard. Maybe there'll be one floating around Amiga Ireland. Probably not. But I'd love to see one sometime. If Eep and I ever make it over to Australia or New Zealand, uh, 
That will be step one before we, before we see anything else. Ayers Rock or whatever they call it now. No, no. Sydney Opera House, nope. I wanna to go to Dick Smith's house. That's the only house I care about. I believe that I'm gonna be stuck here and that's not gonna be a good time. Hey Asifa. We were just talking about the Dick Smith wizard. Do you have any experience with that? Did you have one of those growing up over there in Australia? Uh oh, maybe this is, can I F1 myself? And uh, That's just a health potion. Yeah. It's very easy to use the escape key. I love that. Every game needs a little hint system down there in the, uh, in the corner. Oh, I may take you up on that, Gary. I also would love to see your collection of calculators. Um, I love watching your uh, your YouTube channel and seeing all that stuff. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. I wonder what we use this oil for. Let me know, guys, if you have any idea about what we use this oil for. You know, it's, it's funny, I, I'm playing uh, Luigi's Mansion on the Switch. I just got a Switch this past week. And um, it's amazing how much the treasure collection aspect of, of the game is, is fun. Um, I'm just real, you know, like if it was just like hunting the ghost or avoiding the ghost, it would be an okay game, but like actually searching out the hidden treasures that are in each room really adds so much to the experience. Oh, you can drill faster. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pi. <laughs> An old shady sharp calculator. Is it like a aftermarket deal? Is it from like behind the iron curtain? Is it like a dendy? Oh, an oldie. For some reason I thought this said shady. <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said all that. <laughs> I was gonna say aftermarket or gray market um, sharp calculators. That would be something I'd love to get into. Okay, there we go. Hey Pi, I met some of uh, your countrymen at the last Amiga Ireland. Are you gonna be making it over there in January? Oh yeah, open the door, dummy. I like the fact that you cannot take fall damage in this game. Just gotta remember where the door was. You should try and come, man. It's a great time. Pixels is gonna be there. Gary, we gotta get you over to Ireland too. You can just uh, plane on over with Graham. They can make a special landing. And uh, actually, Graham may be flying from, um, do you have to, if you were going to fly to Ireland, would you have to stop in Australia, uh, Gary? Where is this door? Oh, there it is. Yeah, happy December. Um, we are uh, probably going to be decorating for Christmas tomorrow. I think that that is on the schedule. Putting up the tree. Uh, we don't have a ton of Christmas decorations, but we put up some candy canes outside. You gotta have your candy canes lying in the driveway. Oh yeah, that makes sense. 
But I mean, that's such an incredibly long flight for you guys. I was I was shocked when Graham said that uh, he was, or when um when Gary said he was going to come. No, Graham, you're Gary. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is like a uh, invisible ladder. That's weird. Okay, it looks like I've got nine treasures left to collect. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Whoa. I know one thing, Pix, um, that I'm looking forward to we didn't get to do is, is get the kebab. Last year we were we were kebabless. Maybe maybe you got a kebab. I did not get a kebab. You have an opportunity. You sort of have kebab opportunities at the wazoo. No! No. Please let me keep my inventory. Okay. This is just mean. Actually, there's probably a better way to do this that I'm just not doing. Um, this is no. This is this. It, it looks like it could be a modern game, but it, this is from '93, I believe. Ah, oh, you're speaking my language. It's funny, um, I almost bought one of those handheld Zoom recorders to do some interviews at Amiga Ireland. And uh, it turns out that Erla was going to bring his anyway. So I was very happy to hear that. Come down here and get this potion so I can not die. Um, I'm excited to see the new venue. I hope that it doesn't lose any of the homey atmosphere of the uh, of last year's. Last year's it was just so great that everybody was in the same room together. Although I'm sure the people giving the talks might not have felt the same way, but apparently, Erla's uh, and it's it's all going to be in the same room again this year. But um, Erla is going to be able to partition off a portion of the room for talks to make it a little quieter for the people that want to go to the talks. Yeah, they're super nifty. Um, uh, if they were a little bit more hospitable to being used as just like a plugged in um, interface for the computer that could interface with OBS, uh, I would I would get one without a doubt. But um, I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it some at Amiga Ireland, and if I like it, we may get invest in one for the for the show. Okay. I need to, uh, hmm, how do I get over there? What do I do? Invisible ladder? Can I climb the rock walls? Oh, 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 that's no good. Still not learning my lessons from... Superb. It's pretty cool. I like the hidden bonus rooms. Unfortunately, that didn't give me any extra time. I know, I know. Yeah, that's... All right, well, this has been really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of this game. Um, very, very awesome. Um, so uh, I will play this a little bit more later on, skip around with some of the levels, but in the meantime, 
Uh, I'm going to be switching over to the Atari 8-bit computer. So if you'd like to hang around a little bit, um, I'm just going to uh, pour myself a cold one and return for some Atari 8-bit action. So hang tight, guys, and I will be back in a few.